Welcome back to Real Fishing 2. Today we are heading out to a tiny, tiny stream to check out the Arctic char scene. Even in waters like these that are not very deep, you can observe how vigorously those char live. It's very interesting, again, reading these descriptions. It's uh, pretty entertaining. We're looking for a char of a foot long. That's the hint given for this one. So we're looking for a 12-inch char, or of course, as this game puts it, uh, in hundredths of feet. So we need a 1.00 foot char, as opposed to an 11.68 inch char. The units in this game are quite interesting that they use because in the manual, they will talk about feet and inches. So there are some species where it says, for example, Satsuki trout. You need to catch a Satsuki trout around one foot, eight inches. And it uses the... Um, it uses the, the single and double quotation marks, one pound, eight inches. Uh, but of course, in game here, it uses hundreds of inches and hundreds of feet, which is a very strange conversion here for, uh, for this version of the game. Anyway, the default bait here is the uh, worm and a strike indicator. And the first fish we hook is indeed a char. Uh, listen carefully to the pitch of the sound of the water as the fish thrashes right there. That's telling me that this is a less than one foot fish. Uh, this one has, of course, a smaller response on the rumble pack of the dual shock than do the uh, larger ones, but also that pitch of sound is uh, indicative of a smaller char. But it was the first one that I hooked. Of course, we lost it. Char fight pretty vigorously, so they are rather tricky to pull in, uh, especially at the beginning as you're getting used to their fighting patterns. So there is a strike indicator that you do need to let go all the way down. It spins a couple times um, on the default bait. This is a Dolly Varden. Dolly Varden is a uh, relative of the char. They're another salmonid, uh, and they're a very close relative of the char. It looks rather like a brook trout, and uh, char indeed are pretty close relatives to the brook trout. So the Dolly Varden would be sharing waters with the uh, Arctic char. In, uh, in some cases, so we just must be lucky enough to be fishing in a brook that has uh, both the Dolly Varden and the Char itself. So that is 9.64 inches. Again, once you get to feet, it's, it goes into uh, hundreds of feet. So. <laughs> so we're going to do a quick cut here to a dry fly. So you can use flies in this stream. It does make sense that with Char fishing, you'd be able to use a fly. Um, you can see my dry fly is not going out very far. I didn't play around with leader weights or anything like that. There are some different uh, line leader settings you can have. In Real Fishing 1, the mechanics of casting a fly um, are like what you see here. And it looks like that's what we're supposed to do with this one, but I'm just I'm not able to pinpoint it very accurately uh, or cast it out very far without what seems to be a, uh, an unnecessarily large number of pumps. This may be Natsume toying a little bit too much with the realism that, uh, of course, in a real fly rod, if you are trying to get something cast out a good distance, maybe 15 or 20 feet, it is going to take a good number of pumps to get your fly out there. But I think in a video game setting, uh, two or three fly rod pumps is probably adequate to simulate the experience without uh, being laborious. Uh, so this cut brings us to a spinner. So there are spinners and spoons you can use in this water as well. Here we've got another Dolly Varden hooked. Uh, where it does really remind me of the brook trout is in the white tips on the fins. That's a pretty spectacular uh, jump and tail walk there, Dolly. Way to go. Way to go, buddy. Um, so this spinner, uh, even with this Dolly Varden, I was uh, horsing the fish too much because the, the Dolly Varden are not our target species. So once you've got a Dolly Varden caught and recorded, you've got that fish in the bank. Um, I don't need to work too hard to try to actually bring in all my fish. I don't know if this game has, the manual doesn't indicate. Uh, maybe as we advance farther, we'll, we'll find out from the game itself. I don't know if there are uh, secondary challenges like Real Fishing 1 has. Uh, once you've cleared all the stages, there are uh, further challenges going back and catching more fish or larger fish. So here's a new species that we're bringing in called the Sculpin. Uh, the sculpin are a family of fish that can live uh, both in in uh, salt water and in some freshwater environments. They are they're bottom feeders. They can live in uh, rivers that feed into oceans, and then they also can live in tide pools. So they look a little bit like the uh, like the scorpion fish that you will kind of see around. So this is a sculpin. I'm not entirely sure if there are sculpin that would share waters with char and Dolly Varden. I'm not uh, a coastal 
Fisher in my experience. So um, maybe if you know, let me know uh, if that's realistic to have Sculpin, some kind of freshwater Sculpin sharing a, a, a stream with uh, Arctic Char and the Dali Varden. Those are the only three species that are present in here, so that's why I left that one in. Now, if you listen to the, to the pitch of that fish fighting, that was a lower-pitched uh, sound of the water thrashing. And that tells me that is a larger fish, and even the behavior of that fish is a uh, foot-plus fish behavior. <laughs> it's uh, very different. So there's that deeper sound again. If you need to go back and listen to another char, or e even indeed the Dali part, Dali uh, Parton, the Dali Vardens, and the uh, Sculpins made the same higher pitch. This one is a lower pitch sound, and this also has the the stronger response on the Dual Shock controller. Uh, I did uh, switch to a, a nymph, so I used a, a grub for a little while, like a uh, worm called a caster, and then now I'm on a uh, on a I think a Cadis fly nymph maybe. I'm not sure what kind. It's a live nymph that I'm using at the moment. Uh, there were many, many, many failed fights with those larger char. <laughs> I can tell you that uh, before the cut to a final successful fight with one. Um, I've been kind of horsing the fish in too much, even though those larger ones. Let's, let's listen. This is another smaller char we're about to see. So um, I've been bringing them in too quickly, and uh, I've noticed that the line line will break or, or fish will, will pull themselves off the line if your line length is too short. So if you bring them too close to the shore too early, this one is almost a foot long, 11.61, but it still was pretty easy to bring in and behaved basically the same as the, uh, the, like the 8 and 9 inch fish. So clearly there's a uh, very large uh, jump in fish strength there. It's It doesn't follow a nice even curve. Uh, as you would expect, you would think that 11.61 inch fish and a uh, fish a little over a foot would be pretty similar, but in this game, there's a very big jump in difficulty level in landing them, which makes sense from a from a game perspective. Um, so bringing the fish in too early leads to you having a pretty short line, and this is a little bit of realism there that uh, that they've managed to work in because if you are using um, if you are using uh, it, it monofilament line it can stretch farther if you have more line out there for the fish so um, this game wants you to kind of take your time bringing in larger fish let them run back and forth laterally a little bit then use your power to pull on them as they're trying to throw the hook but anyway that uh, that char is going to unlock the next level for us so our next freshwater target is stage 10 that is the largemouth bass and bluegill fishery um, we're still working on the saltwater side to try to pull in that red sea bream, which brings us to the summer inshore fishing. So we are going to be moving on on the freshwater side to the lake where we'll be tackling largemouth bass and bluegill. Hey, if you like this video, feel free to give me that thumbs up. If you have questions, comments, especially if you know about the sculpin sharing streams with those uh, salmonids, let me know in the comments here. Or you can also hit me up on Twitter, where I am also active underscore A-T-E. We will see you next time.